Africa is on Russia's side. We are Putin and Putin is us and we will never support imperialism. Okay. Africa is on China's side. A recent study says that Beijing is winning lion's share of construction projects in Africa. Unfortunately, you've got this situation where China is now preying on you, but you just don't realize it because China is actually giving you what it's worth. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new episode of Nox and Marubi Unfiltered. I'm Nox, he's Marubi. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's enjoy the show. Can President Biden convince African leaders that America is a better partner than China? China has been eyeing Africa for decades now. As growth in China slowed down, the CCP realized that taking over Africa was the solution. Many of our Western leaders are freaking out because stuff is about to hit the fan. The dominoes are starting to fall. This weekend, we saw dramatic developments all across Africa. Russian flags being raised in the air throughout the continent. Here's, here's, here's what's going on. Okay. And this is the harsh truth about what's happening with Africa and the West and the East. Okay. Africa is on Russia's side. Okay. Africa is on China's side. Mm -hmm. That is the harsh truth. Okay. I'm telling you now, US, whoever's watching this from the US, Africa is on the side of China and on the side of Russia. I too would oh. even, no, I would also pick that side, but mm -hmm. I would pick it a, a whole lot smarter than what our African oh, okay. leaders are doing. Yeah, That's that for sure. Like... But there's a shift mm -hmm. in terms of what is happening with the African the political leaders and the West. the West and the East. Understand this. This is what you have done, America. You came to Africa. You negotiated. Okay. And sometimes you just took. No question, we are at war once again. And this first phase is to take out Gaddafi's air defenses. Colonel Gaddafi's brutal attacks on his own people are unacceptable and will not be tolerated. Gaddafi has lost the legitimacy to govern and it is time for him to go without further violence or delay. We have learned reports from Libya that Muammar Gaddafi, the leader of Libya for more than 40 years, has been killed by rebel forces. But you were negotiating with people who weren't literate enough to negotiate with you. Okay. So you took more than what you were supposed to. And when we knew that you took more than what you were supposed to, you didn't want to give it back friendly, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So you want you depleted the, the reserves, yeah. and then you're like, oh, here you go, right? So that's what's happened. Okay. And African leaders are upset. Europe, America, one boat. Cool. Now China comes and says, oh, you guys still have more minerals. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to actually give you what the minerals are worth. Now, here's the disadvantage as to what's going on with the African leaders. Okay. The disadvantage is the African leaders that we currently have are not also literate enough to handle the money okay. in itself, right? Okay. If it's not corruption, mm -hmm. it's that they just don't know what to do with their country in terms of direction. China's recently been accused of trying to take over Uganda's sole international airport if the East African country fails to pay a $200 million loan for the expansion of the site. At this rate, if Uganda fails to repay the loan, Uganda's only international airport will soon be a Chinese asset. In response to the public outcry over the loan agreement, the Chinese embassy in Uganda issued a statement saying, quote, not a single project in Africa has ever been confiscated by China because of failing to pay Chinese loans. Uganda has lost its only international airport that it had to China after it failed to repay its loan. In 2015, China's Export-Import Bank had lent Uganda a sum of $207 million. The loan had a maturity period of about 20 years, including a seven-year grace period. Unfortunately, You've got this situation where China is now preying on you, but you just don't realize it because China is actually giving you what it's worth, okay, right? Yeah. No one, actually what people are supposed to do is actually come in and say, look, here's what's troubling your economy. Let, let us teach you how to bl bluster your economy. You yes, let us teach you how to bluster your economy. Not just, to not just give you... you. Like, do yes. it for you, then we... No, never mind. Can, give. Can, you, can even... They're not doing it for you. Uh -huh. 
That's what's even worse. You're just putting a patch. No, they oh. saying, here you go. Here's the money that you guys always wanted. No, here's oh. the money you guys always wanted. Here you go. Oh. We're buying your minerals. Oh, yeah, we're buying your minerals. As you said, uh-huh. we are buying your minerals yeah. and we are buying your influence and we are buying your militaries, etc. Any Anything to do with Africa is being bought by China. Okay. Fine. Cool. But here's the problem. Our leaders don't know what to do with that money. Even our boy in Burkina Faso. Yes, definitely. He doesn't know. No, yes, no, yeah. no good for him. I'm, I'm, I'm very glad that he's, he's getting his independence okay. from France and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Great. I, I, I was fine with it. Honestly speaking, mm-hmm. Europeans, you fucked us over so many times. America, you fucked us over so many times. Okay. Like when you look at the deals, you sit down sometimes and you're like, oh my God, what were you guys thinking back then? That's why I say that They came in and they negotiated with people who were oblivious. They didn't know. They were ignorant, right? Unfortunately, they also were new to the game. They were also learning as well. And obviously, there's no political leader that's going to say, oh, no, yeah, I got that one wrong. None of them is going to ever say that. So, that's the... Like, right now, what's worse is that you are getting what your minerals are worth, what your... The value of Africa from Russia and China... The disadvantage is they also taking advantage of you because you still yeah, yeah. yeah nothing is nothing is yes cool. everything is always negotiated with bad faith and mm. it's just kind of like, no eh. not necessarily That's like you see if I wish like you see if we had much more intelligent leaders mm-hmm. right and we we took those leaders and we we're like okay you guys lead us in these negotiations at least okay right I don't know about the country but at least lead us in these negotiations. Mm-hmm. you could come out with much more fair deals to you. Because right now what happens, is, what people don't know is that China and America le- learn from each other. Well, Biden now has disrupted that right now, what, recently. What is, this is not Biden. Let's not say Biden. <laughs> no, it is Biden. Biden. No, now. Administration. Let's yeah, the, Biden. the administration I feel bad now Biden. Has, has disrupted yeah. that by by putting more restraints in terms of investing in China and yeah, etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but, yeah, I saw that because the, I saw that they, they can't invest. Yeah, like the technology. There's a certain yeah, there, there's a certain amount so that there's like, a so threshold. What, what if there's a new AI that's taking off? We that, can get it. No, we can't get it. President Biden issuing executive order aimed at preventing Americans from investing in some Chinese companies. President Biden adding insult to injury, calling China a ticking time bomb, and adding, "quote That's not good because when bad folks have problems, they do bad things." Yeah. So, ah. but what people don't know before that. Mm-hmm. America and China were learning from each other, okay. right? Yeah. That's a system that you want where you can learn from the, from the person that you are competing. actually, no, that's buying oh, from you. Okay. So if they are buying from you, let them teach you how and why they could afford to buy from you. Unfortunately, if you were South Africa right now and you wanted to go buy from America, okay. they're going to exploit the shit out of you. Yeah, obviously. And you won't understand why they're exploiting the shit out of you. Mm-hmm. So that's my only thing. So what? America might take the back seat if China is taking off with some crazy stuff. And There's probably going to be first a Cold War. You'll know, see a oh, Cold okay. War. So it's an arms race right now. Like I said, there's a third world power as well, right? Being tech, big tech, right? Okay. But Cold War first, see how things go. Looks like, can I be honest about something? Mm-hmm. It looks like these leaders are not sure of who's doing what. They know what they're doing. Like each, they know that there's BRICS. China's focused on BRICS and making sure that BRICS is, is a success. BRICS, BRICS is like an organization which is taking, developing um, like the fastest growing economies, well, outside of South Africa, <laughs> but the fastest growing economies. Okay. Uh, well, but South growing. Africa has the advantage of being the most in the industrialized okay. um, economy in, in Africa. So that's the, the big advantage for South Africa. So they're just taking the fastest growing economies okay. and they are pretty much saying, fuck the US. Like okay. they're just going, yo, we're going to have these economies which are going to just take over the world and you guys oh, can't do we, anything we, we, about it. We're part of it. Oh, yeah, it and we're part, we're part of it. Something. No, it's just because you're so industrialized. Like mm-hmm. you've got so much facilities compared to other African countries, like yeah. ratio, in terms of ratio, 
Be person for person, yeah, person for person, mm-hmm. you've got more facilities as compared to the rest of Africa. Africa. Okay. Mm. Right. Subscribing and liking our videos on the on the pod on the pod. I'm Nox. This is Marubi. Peace out. This is Nox and Marubi. Unfiltered. Unfiltered. Is that the song you want? <laughs> <laughs>